raise a glass with a balloon. Wow! Oh, oh, yeah! oh, oh my God! Have you yeah. seen it? Just now it was a hand, and now it's a butt. Excuse me. Fight for your life. Hundred bucks back. What is it? We didn't argue for hundred bucks. Here are your five greenness. <laughs> I popped it. Impossible. It is possible. If I pull it, it will drop for sure. This cannot be true. It is possible. How? Try it. What? Hundred bucks are mine. How? Yes, please. So I want it back. Hey there, it's Cubastic and there's Oxy with me. This means that today is the time for challenges and this will be the challenge that you really like. Bets. Bar bets, match puzzles and so on. Today we will bet with the help of objects that can probably be found in every pocket. You clearly have 300 bucks in your pocket or a glass or a bottle of Pepsi or a fork. If not, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and you will have a great year ahead. We are already ready to start. Oxy, mm? I want you to start this time so that you are the first to make a riddle. Okay, I'll go first. But you guys can watch and try to guess with us. Maybe you that's, are smarter uh, and that's, can solve it that's faster. That's for sure. Anyway, there are people who solve faster than us and are really better at this. So guys, I hope it's you. Write in the comments the answers to some of the riddles that you have solved on your own. Now we shall begin. Come on, Oxy, start! The first riddle is really simple. Really it simple? It seems to me that you will solve it fast, but I still have to show it. Maybe one of you still doesn't know. We take an ordinary glass, put a tiny coin in it and cover it with a large coin on top. Mm -hmm. Your task is to get a small coin without touching the glass and without touching the coins. Without touching the glass? Yes. And you can't touch the coins? Yeah. What should I do? Get it out holding it in my hands? Yes. Uh, I'll have to touch it though. Try to touch the coins, but I think you won't succeed. In short, I need to hold a small coin in my hands. You need to get it out of the glass. Usually when I blow, it works. It General, doesn't work. you started doing the right thing. Maybe just a bad coin? Yes! Oh, it jumped out on its own. Yes, it pops up. But this big coin stays there. This is just a trick that always yes. works. But you need to blow harder. See, just a heavy coin. This small one goes here, the big one here. <laughs> so you got it. The next one. <laughs> The riddle with matches. Let's take matches mm -hmm. and draw such a fish. Look, the fish is now swimming in this direction. Yes! Your task is uh, to shift uh, three matches so that the fish swam in the other direction. Three matches? Three matches. Not more, not less. I see how to do this with two matches. Just here, look. Yeah, but you need, but three. need three. That's the difficulty. So, if uh, the riddle was simple, then I would have used uh, two matches. And there is no difficulty in general, but the solution with three matches is more interesting. Are you sure that it should swim to the right? Yes. Maybe it can swim in any other direction, or it doesn't count. It counts. It should swim here. Good. Here you go. One, two, and the tail here, three. Yeah? Uh, I missed something. I'm distracted. I don't know why. Can you show it again, please? In the opposite direction. Look, it is yeah. now swimming to the right. I take these three matches away and put them yeah, here. Yeah, everything is correct. One, two, three. See? Well done. Well, I even did and the I other way. I thought that Axie wouldn't solve it. I was already distracted by something on the phone. The next task is not about logic, but more about the skill. For speed. And I'm just... Balancing skills. Balancing. I'll give you I this shaker. Shaker, shaker. Party maker. You also need two forks for this task. Mm -hmm. And one toothpick. You need to balance these two forks like this on the glass so that they stand like this on the toothpick. On a toothpick? Did you get it? A toothpick on a glass and forks on a toothpick? Yes. Two? Yeah. So that they hang? You should balance them. Find a balance. Two forks. 
It will slip anyway, even if I find the balance. And then how else can I put it? It should be like that. No, the two speaks should be like this, believe me. Also like this? Yes. It should clinch somehow. It should hold on tightly straight. Ah, this is how it should be. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's how it should balance. This way. It should definitely balance this way. But you can't hold it. I understand. This toothpick definitely needs to be inserted somewhere here. I don't know, try the other way. You're not helping me. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. It's not strong, this toothpick. I'm afraid it will break. It won't break. I've tried it. Well, I'm close, You right? are really close. Look, if it slips like this... I get it. I will applaud if it stands like that. Where did it go? There it is, Magic. behind the matches. Magic. Why did you turn the glass over? Do I have to hold it like this? No, it just should be on the edge. Can I bend it? No, don't spoil the cutlery. We will use them later. Alright. And uh, this way? That counts? That well, counts? Well, try it. I don't think it will hold. But why? It will work. Look. Oh, damn. It's really difficult. Just install it like that. So, really can difficult. I help you? Are you giving up? No. Protect yourself! Oof. Come on, just tell me how. Let's do it together. Well, let's assume that yes, I gave up. Good. You did the right thing there. You need to fasten them this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn, that's true. And I'll stick a toothpick right in the middle, here. Oh, I can hear a toothpick breaking. Oh, let me do it. I figured out how. You have to hold them together like this, right? Consider that you gave me a hint. Okay, so be it. Now install it carefully. Take your finger off. <gasps> well, here it well, is. Well, well here done. it is. And you told me to surrender. Of course, here you had more attempts than me. Well, it works, really. Yes. It's cool, it's really cool. But you need to think and try for a long time so that it holds so well. In short, I don't know, you can try to do it at home. If you succeed, write about it in the comments. But it was pretty difficult. Difficult. A controversial one, in fact. Mm -hmm. But I have prepared something else for you. Okay. For the next task, I need a sheet of paper like this. This is a tablet with pages, but in fact, any notebook and a sheet of paper can be useful mm -hmm. in this situation. Look, you need to draw such a figure. I'm showing you. Look, we're drawing. You can take another marker, whatever you need. You can draw a point like this. Mm -hmm. And you need to draw a circle around this point. But you need to do this without taking your hands of the paper. So you touch once and then draw as you want but without tearing off the marker, constantly touching the paper. How is it? Well, basically you cannot draw a and circle this is the and trick. then you cannot leave a dot without tearing your hands off the sheet. And this is the trick. I have an assumption that this sheet of paper needs to be ripped somehow. You don't need any extra items. Well, I drew a circle without tearing it off. No, you tore it off. Well, that's the point. See, this is difficult. These are the eyes that look at you and think, Oxy, what is it? Okay, let's count it as done. Well, can I make the size smaller? Yep. That's the dot. And, and the there circle? Is a circle. No, you need to... It's so small that you can't see. Oh, here comes the tricky part, you foxy little thing. Oxy, it's not easy to beat me. It's necessary to fold the paper several times. For what? Don't know. What can be done? Uh, a circle or a dot? It's impossible to draw it all together. I don't know how to do it, really. I don't understand. I think that you need to fold the paper somehow, or I think fold it in a certain way. Ah, uh, yeah, aha! Uh -huh. I can tell by your face that is it true! Then go ahead and do that. Well, how? Should I show you the answer? Yeah. Look, you were right when you said you need to fold the paper. Mm -hmm. Look, we just roll it up like this. Yes. And here, at the edge of the folded paper, we begin to draw 
a dot. Yes. We draw it so that it goes both there and here. And then we just continue to make a circle. Here we draw a semicircle, remove the paper, and we have a circle and inside there is a dot. Wow. You see, in fact, anything is possible, everything is real. Nobody told you I forbid you from doing something. Just think a little and everything will work out. Cool. Cool, yeah? Yes. And the conditions are met and the riddle is solved. Awesome. Now it's your turn. For the next one, I'll give you two glasses. Two glasses? Well, that's too much. I give you a shot. A shot? And 100 bucks. Oh, I like that. If you solve the riddle, you'll get cash. Well, if you don't, of you won't get it. Of course. You need to put this little shot mm -hmm. between these two big glasses on the bill. Mm -hmm. And you should do it so that I could pull water here from above and it all should stand still. Listen, I should tell you that you should have not told me that it was worth 100 bucks. Because I would take them, because I'm familiar with this task. This is very first riddle of this kind of format that I've sold. It happened when I was a kid, long time mm -hmm. ago. But I remember the solution, and here we need to create such edges on the bill. We fold it in half. You all understand that a bill is way more tough. Uh, then uh, just uh, like that. If it is a piece of paper, you see it is so flexible and this way it's no longer bent. Then we do it again like this and we're doing just such a wave, look. And it turns out uh, we have a wave of $100. And now it will stand a serious wave and so we can put and put a glass here, you can uh, pour water you can put this bill like this, mm -hmm. put a glass on top and pour water. Yes, well done. Let's pour, I'll just hold it so it doesn't fall. Mm -hmm. But it can't withstand uh, the weight easily. Yes, well done, but you are just lucky that you knew how it is solved. Well, I would have guessed at the end, I think. So I'm taking 100 bucks. You take it. They are rumpled, of course, but okay. Whatever. ATM refuses such bills. Now you will be guessing, right? Do it. But it's pretty tricky. Mm -hmm. Not simple. We need a glass. A glass. And we need a credit card. Mm -hmm. We put our credit card here. We take a roll of paper, an ordinary notebook sheet of paper. I'll fold it like this. I roll it up into a tube. Put it uh, on top. And here I put a coin on top. Right on it. Your task, uh, without touching the structure, is to make sure that only one coin is inside the glass. You are not allowed to touch. At all? You cannot touch a credit card, a coin, a glass, you cannot touch it. You can touch this, the table, me. What if I burn it all? The coin will definitely fall. Yes, a coin will fall and the firefighters will come here. Yes, there will be more ash too. Yes. Well, there is only an option to blow, because I don't see another. I will not move a coin by the power of thought. The question now is where to blow. For some reason it seems to me that it is necessary to blow on the card. Otherwise I'll just blow off the tube and the coin will fly away with it. And if I blow on the card, then perhaps the tube with the card will fly away and the coin will just fall. We will try. Like this, you see? So that's it, you really thought right that you need to blow, but just blowing is not enough. Here you really need to choose the right direction, the right angle for this to work. But you, but well done! <laughs> you look so funny from the top camera. <laughs> Should I show you? I'll try it again, because it seems to me that I'm doing the right thing. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! I didn't even think it would work. <laughs> to be honest, I thought that nothing would work for me. I thought that it flew away to you. Are you surprised? Well, I never expected that I would succeed until the last moment I thought that it would fly away like the last time. When I tried it, I got it twice in a row so that the coin fell into the glass and the card remained in place, only slightly shifted. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, well, if I succeed, it's cool. No, it's moving a bit after all. Well, I don't know how it happened, but I did it. In general, try it at home, if you succeed, it's cool. Now, you tell me. 
No, and it's my turn. Guess, but no, wait, you guessed it right. I guessed it. You guessed? Give me back my cash. What is it? We didn't target for 100 bucks. Here are five greens. <laughs> are you ready for the next spectacular trick? Let's do it. Here's a bottle for you. Yep. Here is a tube that I pierced with a toothpick. Mm -hmm. I put it here. You need to get this tube with the toothpick out of the bottle without touching it. No straws, no toothpicks yeah. and bottles? Maybe I should blow? Do I even need to blow? Well, as you like. What does it smell like? Why doesn't the bottle stink like that? Hmm, that's not Pepsi. This is some kind of alcohol. I got it. Are you ready it's to an see antiseptic. It? Is that is that an anti-coronavirus bottle? I call it you judgment you COVID-19 antiseptic. I'll show you the solution. You put it right here. Accident. If the antiseptic catches fire, it will be just kicked out now. <gasps> there also was a sound. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I want to do it too. So we need an antiseptic. Yes, you need to use an antiseptic, then light a match so and well, throw it into the well, bottle. And it burns and blows out. I'm go. just not good at it. The antiseptic contains alcohol and the alcohol burns quickly. That's easy. And I'm really interested. And if now... Can I set the fire here? It's so interesting. Today we're not having any bets with you. It's more like... Uh... Let's proceed. Are you ready? Yes. <gasps> Yay! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Did yeah, you, you see it? it? Damn, this is so cool! I want some more! So cool! Did you like the riddle? This is crazy! It goes out like a rocket! Yes! Guys, be sure to try to do this at home, but always in the presence of your parents, because hell no you set something on fire without your parents seeing. They will be really surprised, so at least they won't be surprised if something happens. So, in general, this is cool. Yes. But we really ruined the bottle, look how cloudy it is now. By the way guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, because in one of the following videos I will show you one of the most extreme and painful puzzle that I ever held in my hands, and I'll definitely try to solve it. In the next competition you can win this Let's agree. 100 bucks. To do this you just need to put this coin on the edge. 5 grivnas on top of 100 bucks? Yes, at the same time the bill must be flat. You can hold it in your hands, you can try to put it on a table. Do what you want, but the coin should be on a straight banknote. Look, look, the bill is folded in half and put 5 grivnas on top. That's all? But it's not even. Why? Here is flat. Or it should, should it be, be flat open? and open. Perfectly. Perfectly. This cannot be done. It is possible. How? Well, try it! Well, that's the maximum I can unfold, but not fully, it will stop. You need to make sure that the bill is perfectly straight, otherwise I won't give you cash. How to do it? Perfectly flat? Yes, perfectly flat. And the coin should be right on the of edge? Of course. You understand that it is super thin here? Well, this damn is like a sheet of paper, even thinner. And how to put it here? Listen, it can be possible. Try it! You're just complaining. Well, no! How? <laughs> it's impossible. It is possible. So you start with this position and then you just unfold it? And stretch it. And it won't fall? It will. Come on, what are you telling me? It will not fall, I was joking. If you do this, then I will not only give you this 100 bucks, but also those that I want. Damn! Really on the edge! Look! Did it find the balance itself there or what? How? 100 bucks are mine! How? Yes, please. So I want it back. Unbelievable. Did you guys know that this is possible? Wow, I just... I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know. You just broke my brain today. Look, I need a bottle. Well, of course, we already used it uh, sometimes. For this riddle you will need three straws and three bottles. I set the bottles in a triangle like this, each in relation to another, so that the distance between them is more than one straw. See? Yes. So that you could not put a straw between them. 
Mm -hmm. Your task is uh, to make a construction based on uh, these bottles on two or three, but make sure that a box of matches hangs in the center right here in the air. Hanging? Yes, or you so may just put it there? You can put it on the structure. You need to make it so that you can put a box of matches on a structure made uh, of uh, straws. Here you go, you have three straws and three bottles. But someone here forgot that a straw can do... Okay, if you want to do it like this here, I'm kidding. we can place it even wider. No, it should not be like this, I was joking. Well, okay. Yes, one straw is missing. But I think that if you connect the centers in some way, then you can put a box of matches here, right? Right. Well, there's no other way. Well, according to his face, I'm thinking correctly, because he's afraid to lose now. I guessed everything today, all of them. Although yes, we have. I'm the one who didn't guess anything here. I have a weird day today. Let me help you. I will hold it a little bit here hold so it doesn't it. fall. Well, oh, it is. Well, thanks. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to help. This one will keep this one. It holds? I don't know. It does. And this one should be held by this one. I need. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you handle this? I can handle it, it's just a little hard for me. Well, they just I did it everything on my way. own. Shouldn't it be difficult or what? I just feel I don't have enough hands Missing here. Missing hands? What do you have, only two? Yes. Listen, somehow people managed to like the video and write a comment and subscribe to the channel with only two hands and you just can't place three straws. But you are doing the right thing, everything is logical. It seems to be only the blue one doesn't hold anything. Triangle. God, I can't understand. I understand and I don't understand at the same time. Why does it move and spin like that? Well, it's inconvenient. How you did this alone without me? I did it like this. I just did. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Why is it falling? Did yours fall well, too? Well, my coin with a bill was falling, remember? Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, everything is ready. Like this. Come on, hold it. Oops, well, not working. It works. And the box of matches? What were you talking about? No. Am you I right? You did everything right. You did everything correctly, but a little bit sloppy. Therefore, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, we'll do it together. This is actually really difficult to do. Really hard. In the original version of this riddle, you need to take three steel knives, put them on three bottles and intertwine the way so that another wall bottle could stand on top. Mm -hmm. And so... And now, look what I'm doing. I put one down, keep it here. And when you already have the green one holding the blue one, then you put the pink one in such a way that it seems to support the green one and the pink one will be held by the blue one. And so it simply clinched to each other and even a small load like a box of matches can be put on it. I can't believe! I just can't believe it! When I put... Okay. When I put <laughs> those straws, I also thought, well... It is not holding at all, barely holding. What box? What box of matches are you even talking about? Here you go, such a riddle. Do you have something else? Cool, yes, there is one for you. This is your last chance to win 100 bucks. You need to take two bottles. Yes. Here they are, our poor bottles. They worked so hard today. I put 100 bucks between them. Crap, they literally don't hold. And you need to get 100 bucks. So that the bottles of don't course, fall. So that they stay on top of each other. Why are you depressed? Well, I'm just sure that dear. it is impossible to do it. Well, if I pull, I tell you, it will fall. Here I know that for sure, if I pull it, it will drop 100%. Look. However, wait a second, is it right? Is it right? And also, if I pull a little... Damn! Well, that's almost right, yes or not? 
Maybe it won't work that way. Did you manage to do it? I haven't tried it. Seriously? <laughs> well, I think you well, just need to well, pull it out. I know. I remembered. I once asked you a riddle where it was necessary to hold a stack of coins in uh, this way. Here's even some water for Put you. Put the finger Try in it. water. Because the bill sticks to the wet finger well and hit 100 bucks really quickly. It is the same, the same secret, the puzzle just looks a lot scarier. Did you see? Have you guys seen it? Axie is just using my tactics. Give me my dollars back, please. Thank you, you very it. much. Honestly earned. Now you will just get a heart attack because... Thank you, because I'll probably refuse. Now you will earn just a bunch of impressions because just the toughest, unbelievable task left for you. Come on. You will be surprised with the solution. You intrigued me. Look. Your riddle must be really stunning. Look. Otherwise... There is, there is a glass, there is a balloon. I'm inflating it. Damn. I'm so afraid of balloons, guys. Write in the comments who is also afraid of them. I have an insane fear that it will burst right in front of my eyes and ears. And what we are doing? We have to raise uh, this glass with a balloon. We should not take the air out of the balloon or make a rope out of it, tie it, nothing. You cannot touch the glass, you can use the ball. Here you go. Try it. Raise the glass with a balloon. <laughs> can it get wet somehow? No need. In general, you can use any item, but uh, the rule is uh, the rule. Can I deflate it? No, you can't deflate it. You can't let the balloon pop. You can't let it deflate. Don't touch the glass. Can I use the glue? Don't use a glue. What about hand cream? Hand cream? What for? It will become even more slippery. I see that you are holding the glass with your hand. No, the balloon holds Don't it. Don't do that. Here, his small hand. <laughs> and it holds it. <laughs> she says uh, it's a balloon's hand. What is the name of this thing on the balloon? Do you know? The butt. Wait a second. Just now it was a hand and now it's a butt? Excuse me. I feel like I'm giving up. I don't know how to do this. You will be just shocked now. Come on, surprise me. Look. Basically, the only possible option to raise a glass with a balloon is uh, to create a vacuum between it and the glass, so that part of the balloon is sucked in here. And this can be done with the help of fire. I will light one match and throw it into the glass. Mm -hmm. Cover with a balloon on top. I really hope that uh, the balloon will not start burning and explode. Did it explode when you tried? Yes, when I tried this before. Look, we threw a match. I'll sit back a bit. It's already burning, see? And we close it with a balloon. Wow. Wow! But I'm so scared that it will burst now. It won't. So cool. Cool? Yes. Awesome. Wow. I didn't even think that it could be solved that way. Really cool. Many people think that if you make it this way, then the match will burn the ball and then it will pop. If you do it wrong, it will happen. Look, the first time I tried it, I set it on fire. Don't tell me you're gonna pop it now. Yes, I'll do that. I set fire through the match and put the balloon on top. <coughs> and then it popped. <laughs> I'm scared. This happened due to the fact that the match had not yet had time to burn out and there was a lot of open fire. <coughs> if you let the match burn out a little. Yes. Firstly, look, it is almost coming to an end. The oxygen inside burns out, and as soon as it starts to go out, I put it on. There's no such heat anymore, but nevertheless, oxygen continues to burn. And also due to the fact that the air is warmer here, it expands. And when it cools down, when the fire stops burning, it shrinks a little and pulls part of the bowl into the glass inside, creating a vacuum. Cool. This is awesome. Guys, with this wonderful ending, I really ask you to like this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was the first episode of Bar Bets. If you ask us, we will make another video about it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels and turn on all notifications so you don't miss uh, these videos. That was Cubastic Bye, and Oxy. Goodbye, a good time. everyone, Bye -bye. and have a good time. Bye -bye.